Hi, Jasper has asked a hundred students how they came to school one day. Each student either walked, came by bicycle or came by car. 45 of the 100 students are girls, 12 of the girls came by car, 20 boys walked and 25 of the 42 students who came by bicycle are boys. And we need to work out the number of students who walked to school. Now, because we've got lots of um, varying information here, what we need to do is we need to present this in a more manageable way. So we're going to use a two-way table to do that. We're going to split it up into the transport that they took and whether they're a boy or a girl. So they've either walked, they've either come by car or um, by bicycle, they're either a boy or a girl. Okay, we're also going to have columns for um, our sorry, a row for our total and a column for our total. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put all of this information, or we're going to present all of this information as clearly as possible. Okay, so just draw in my Right, so um, let's take this information and translate it into our table. 45 of the 100 students are girls. So we know that there's 100 students, so that's going to be our total over here, our overall total. And 45 of those are girls, so my total number of girls is going to be 45. So I've dealt with that information there. 12 of the girls came by car. So girl, car, 12. Okay, that's that information done. 20 boys walked, so we can put 20 in there, and 25 of the 42 students who came by bicycle are boys, so we know that 42 students came by bicycle and 25 of them were boys. Okay, we want to work out the number of students that who walked to school, so this is all the information that we've been given. And what we can now do is we can find out um, all of the missing numbers in here. So, for example, um, I know 25 of the 42 students that bicycle were boys, then the rest of them must be girls, so that's going to be 17 in there. And then I've got, well, 12 and 17 is um, 29, so the rest of the people... So the rest of the girls must have walked, so that's going to be 45 take away 29, which is 16. The total number of people that walked is then going to be 36. Um, and I can carry on filling the, in this table, but what I'm actually trying to work out is the number of students who walked to school. And the number, total number of students who walked to school is in fact going to be 36, so I can put that answer in there. If I wanted to complete the table, um, I could carry on, but I can simply now just stop there. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.